and welcome back to the channel let's go ahead and dive face first into the drama and today we're going to be talking about this whole documentary that oprah counseled on russell simmons and gail king actually coming to oprah's defense on why she canceled and gail king is saying that it's not for the reasons that we think so many people speculated that when 50 Cent spoke out and said that Oprah is only trying to expose black men and then the game followed up and said that he agrees with 50. Coupled with the response that came from Russell Simmons, once he found out that Oprah was gonna actually take part in such a documentary because he thought that him and Oprah were close friends. So I'm over here thinking, wow, Oprah actually listened to her own people. You know, she took a step back, she analyzed the situation, and she said, yo, maybe I am, maybe it does look like I'm only targeting my people. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the case according to Gail King. All right, so before I get into what Gail King had to say, let's read the statement from Oprah on why she actually pulled the plug on this Russell Simmons documentary. All right. Oprah stepped down from her EP role in the statement that read, there is more work to be done on the film to illuminate the full scope of what the victims endured. She also noted that despite her leaving, she still supports the alleged victims. I want it to be known that I unequivocally believe and support the women she wrote. Always lying to me. Why? You lying so much. Why? You making it hard for me. All right, here's Gail's response to Oprah pulling the plug on the Russell Simmons documentary, and it says, I know this was a very stressful and very difficult decision for her to take her name off because she knows that her taking her name off because, as you point out, Russell has done a very public and very private campaign to convince her. She knows that the message that sent is that maybe she was muzzled. King said on CBS this morning on Monday, nothing can be further from the case. King claims that Oprah didn't back out because of the backlash she received over targeting black male predators. She thought that the documentary needed to breathe a little more, King continued. She thought that it was important that it be put into context for the times because you know these allegations are from many years ago and now we're here in 2020. Put it in context of the times of what was going on there at that time. All right, so we heard what Oprah had to say and the reasoning behind her actually pulling the plug and taking her name off of the documentary. And then we heard what Gail had to say in defense of her friend and the reason why she actually pulled the plug. Now, let me say this, guys. They both line with the F, B-O-F, both. So let me get this straight. Oprah said in her statement that there is more work to be done on the film to illuminate the full scope of what the victims endured. To me, that sounds like you don't believe the victims because if they're coming to you with their story, what needs to be worked on? Like, is there some discrepancies? You don't feel their story, in my opinion. Then, in my opinion, Gail followed up with the stupidest statement of them all. She thought she was smart. Like my grandma used to say, you think you're smart. You ain't smart. She says that Oprah thought that it was important that it be put into context for the times because you know these allegations are from many years ago and now we're here in 2020. Now, this is why I find Gail's comments to be a bit hypocritical. She says that the accusations on Russell are from many years ago, right? So I got a question for Gail. Why did your best buddy old pal and Oprah do the documentary on Michael Jackson? Why didn't Oprah take the time to put the allegations against Michael into perfect context for the times. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, Michael's accusations happened a long time ago as well. Late 80s, early 90s. You see what I'm saying? And so, my thing is, is that Russell, you know, the situations that allegedly happened, happened in between those times as well. So, what's the difference between the Michael Jackson story and the Russell Simmons story? I know that they're two different stories in its totality, but I'm talking about what's the difference in the timing? What does time have to do with it? 
If something happened to someone, allegedly, time should not be a factor in why you do a documentary or you pull the plug on the documentary. That's just my opinion. Listen, I believe that there are two factors that went into Oprah's decision to not do the documentary. Now, although 50 and the game and Russell can't make Oprah do anything, all right, because Oprah has some power, I believe that it definitely worked on her mind, her heart, and her soul that maybe I am looking that way to my people that I'm only targeting men for my race. I do believe that that had a factor in it. And secondly, I feel that there were some discrepancies somewhere down the line where Oprah didn't feel comfortable putting her name on this documentary. And those are the two things that I believe that factor in to Oprah's decision to cancel the documentary or at least take her name, you know, from the documentary. All right. But anyway, I'm going to let this go and let y'all have at it in the comments. Drop down and let a brother know what you think about the commentary within this video. Be sure to give me your true thoughts and assessments, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll get with you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.